this down here is the gas locker. I've taken the roof off. It's just there. Um, that water went in last night because I was cleaning all the muck out of here. the door painted and for the first time in a long time the whole deck is one color Ooh, look at it oh the hole over there it's very nice perfect day for painting the bins. This is my 2.3 air-cooled Honda. Bought it only for 275 quid on eBay. However, what I discovered when you saw me moving it the last day, I put it on the transom and the prop wasn't deep enough in the water. So I had to cut this so that I could uh, move and cut it right down and made it so that it is deep enough. And the difference is huge. So that plate has a name and I don't know what it's called uh, that needs to be in line with the bottom of the boat and then everything makes sense and uh, as soon as I got that right well the difference is huge so let's go for a drive <laughs> safety first and uh, let's go well, maybe not
you might be th looking at it and thinking, why is he painting blue? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is black paint. Just need to do a bit of sanding. So I want to get rid of this excess paint I put here and I want to varnish this again. So here at the bottom bit, I varnished it initially and you can see where there's water wanting to come through behind the varnish. So I'm going to just strip all of that of the varnish and instead I'm going to use creosote as just a, as a preservative. Um, but that way it won't be varnished and it'll be able to breathe and moisture will be able to get in and out and just double the varnish on that. The idea being is that water won't be able to get in through here as it used to do through here and collect it down here. Um, so this will be dry and only water coming up from the bottom will evaporate off and I'll use a preservative as was done in the past. So this will be black and that will be um, varnished. That's the plan. Let's do it. These are stainless steel nuts. Whoever made these is a genius. Did not remember that. Okay then. And now, one of life's little victories. There it is, completely empty. It is wiped clean of all the paint and it finished exactly. Yes, I'm gonna have to buy another small bucket of paint, but it's just nice that it, there wasn't a little a square where I ran out of paint. Yeah, it's all white now. <laughs> That's uh, two coats of primer one coat of undercoat, another coat of undercoat, and then top coats, and probably two top coats because it's going to be a hard wearing area. So in all, that'll be six. Hopefully the weather will stay nice and uh, it'll dry out and not get rained on. Oh no, I just forgot. I've only got whatever's on this paintbrush left. <laughs> and I thought there was a lovely miracle. But no, no, I forgot the door. Perfect. Okay, the final bit. So these bad boys. Oh, so shiny. Uh, so these. Goes there.
I believe it's fixed. Finally. These are stainless steel screws. Um, and I'm just wondering how to sort of finish it off. But I think what I might do is just a little dab of black paint on them to take down the shine. I had thought about putting little wooden plugs covering them up completely. But then if anybody ever needs to take this off in the future, they'll be like going, oh, which one of these plugs has a screw going through it? Also, if you're wondering why I put the screws into new holes, is because the broken bits of the screws are behind some of those plugs, so uh, I can't go through them again because I wasn't able to take the screws out because the heads broke off. <laughs>